glass. Oh, Bolton yeah. glass, Stratford, Rathvilly. Yeah, I always heard it called juggy. Yeah, well, it was only in recent years that I discovered that jugging was not universal in Ireland and it's it's local, very local. But neither, even, neither are, are uh, orange pumpkins in our Irish. Oh no, that's all new. Yeah. yeah. But no, but the expression juggy juggling, yeah. is something that we would like to keep yeah. in yeah. Bolton yeah. you know. And Jugging and the Ren boys. Yeah. Like basically bought in that this area. Yeah. A yeah. lot of it. Mm. And what would you say when you went to the door? Well, you just smiled at them saying you come in, kind mm. of thing, because you were invited in always when you called. We dressed up and went out. Yeah. And you went to, and you hoped they didn't recognise you. Yeah. That was part of the <laughs> thing that was coloured up and everything. Mm. Well, and you didn't buy, did you? You didn't, oh, you might buy a mask, but you made it. Yeah, yeah. It could be made from paper, from material, from anything, and you dressed up in an adult's clothes so that your shape was disfigured, yeah. kind of thing. And you went in, and you usually went to the... To, to the house you enjoyed, that you knew the people in it and you hoped they didn't recognise you because you had to disguise your voice that they wouldn't know who you were. And there were certain places that you everybody had the same type of thing. All we had were apples. Um, you could have oranges but it was mostly apples and nuts mm. were the basics of, of the thing and coin mm -hmm. and barn bread. Mm, you got some barn bread Oh, well. yeah, got barn bread. Barn bread was part of uh, Halloween. Mm. It was, if you like, jogging. And I suppose a lot of people don't understand barn bread. I don't know why it's called barn bread. Mm. <laughs> but that's the way it was, and that's how... And this, um, in the house, then, you had this entertainment of... When you went in, you had this ducking in the water and the three saucers. Mm -hmm. Well, that was in your own house or in a Well, even if you house. went into other houses, you were invited in. Oh. When you knocked, you, you could call to all your neighbours. Mm -hmm. I always did that. Like. Well, would you not say when you knocked on the door, would you not say help the juggies? Oh, help the juggies, yes. yes. Well, that was part of it, you see. Yeah. Yeah. And if what you go, you might get the whole of a halfpenny, but a mm. halfpenny did buy a lot in those days. Mm. You know what I mean? You could buy sweets for halfpenny. Yeah. Where it, it mightn't seem much. And this house... Dan Kills. You always got a halfpenny. Kills. Yeah. You always got a halfpenny here. He invited everybody in and everybody got something. Mm. But one of those, just custom, it, it, for the area, possibly. It, uh, we never queried it. It was always a day you go going out jogging and you went. And everybody went with you, kind of thing. We were all, we wouldn't know who we were. Mm. But we were dressed up whatever way we liked. Up to say, you know, <laughs> completely. Your mother's dress or something like that. Yeah. Or that you didn't know your shape. And did you make your own mask? Oh, you made your own, yeah. 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 Mm. And, and you could even make a wig out of anything. Mm. Mm. Just as long as you were disguised and you hoped that you're not recognised and come home then with your whatever you got. We bought, in our day, we bought plastic masks in, in, in uh, Palmuris. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Well, there were gorilla faces. There were the masks. You probably wouldn't have had the money to buy masks. And you mm. wouldn't waste money on a mask yeah. when you could make one. Yeah. With just a, a piece of cloth and paper and put colour on it. Just, so it all blended in with you. And the idea was to disguise yourself to disguise and also you. to... To look scary. Yeah, and like uh, uh, at the back of it all, I think there was always this a uh, kind of a uh, respect for the juggies. You know, there were I don't know whether we thought there were gods or who, the devils or whatever you like to call it. But the other way, there was always this kind of uh, uh, respect, is all I could say, like about it. It was just a, a thing, an annual thing, and it was uh, reserved for the spirits at that time of the year so, and I suppose it, like uh, this is where your kind of admiration for them and you you didn't offend them in case you come in the back door or something like that I, I don't know but uh, it was great fun and, you were, we, so, and it was well established in the 1930s and everybody went jogging mm. yeah. all the kids all the kids went yeah. jogging yeah. Yeah. and you expected all your neighbours kids to come in mm -hmm. Mm. It didn't, there was no, it was a kind of an open house. 
I suppose, like that's the tradition, I suppose, of everybody coming to you. Mm-hmm. Spirits and otherwise. <laughs> spirits, I don't know, it might be. Maybe the wrong spirit. <laughs> but uh, no, no, I, didn't, I enjoyed it, as I say. And like, it's nice memories, and it shouldn't be forgotten about.